sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top of the line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. Well, the bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm hmm. Yeah, ha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. Can't work off my time and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? <coughs> Hello there. I'm Weird Alexander. Not to be confused with Yankee the Great. And you saw it in the intro. This is Grim Fandango. <laughs> this was, uh, this, this is the game I... The first game I'm playing that got recommended by one of you commenter guys. That would be nice. Shout out to Fortinjack77. Uh, he also recommended me Bendy in the Dark Revival and Choo Choo Charles. I think uh, Bendy in the Dark Revival will be better played after I play the original one. And Choo Choo Charles! That one's so out of my wheelhouse, might as well make it uh, the April Fool's video, you know? Because why not? Anyways, I also like to give narration to, like, the, the voiceless characters or whatever, you know, it's just for my shtick, but A, this guy's voice, so I'm just gonna do the thoughts in his head, I guess, and B, he's Spanish, I'm not, so I'm just gonna stick to my accent so I don't screw something up or, and or seem like a prick, okay? That's fair? Okay, that's fair. What's in the tube? Looks like I got a message. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases. So all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Whatever you say, Hiffy. Yeah, OK. What's this? My computer gives me instant access to our database of deadbeats. Might as well poke around. 
Here's Celso's file. That walking stick was too good for him. Yeah, but we got it for him anyways, so like, very community service, I guess. <laughs> or rigging the system, I don't know. Here's Celso's file. No. Thought there'd be a different dialogue, but nope. Ah, the old files, the old clients, the glory days, when people died with dignity, and Domino Hurley didn't exist. You know, this game's also controlled by tank controls, and uh, you press enter. This end cabin is where I hang my cloak. Nothing in there but my cloak. Eh, I'm gonna let it air out some more. Nothing in there but my cloak. Nothing in there but my cloak. Eh, Sorry. I'm nothing in there but my cloak. Stop it. Eh, I'm gonna let it air out some more. You interact with enter, but you move with the arrow keys as opposed to WSD. This game's old school. Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. Deck of cars just wouldn't help there. Oh, put that away then. Read them already. Didn't help. Well, last sec, let me check the instructions for the whole key bindings. Uh... Examine this E. Uses U. Pick up this P for some reason. Inventory is I, of course. That makes sense, I guess. Uh, Hmm. You know, I don't want director's commentary. It seems like a... What? What the hell? Oh, that was, oh I pressed E accidentally. No, wait, no. There we go. Run will be right shift. Uh. Okay, I think that's good. Okay. Turns like a bus. My boss is always giving me these motivational sales books. They bought the farm, now sell them the cows. Stuff like that. Read them already. Didn't help. Read them already. Didn't okay. help. Okay, what about, uh, in the all? Does not automatically save. Please save in the pause menu. Gotcha. Domino's door is locked. Probably scared I'll steal one of his files. Not a bad idea, actually. Not picking <laughs> that up. <laughs> You're a charmer, Manny. You're a real charmer. It's my boss's secretary, Ava. It's my boss's whipping boy, Manny. Oh, you. Oh, you. <laughs> Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? What poisoning? The code three gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. Uh, I forget. Am I supposed to be somewhere right now? Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? 
No, but I like to hear your description of it, just for kicks. Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here, having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. Well, enough about me. What's your job like? Like babysitting. Except I don't get to watch TV. <laughs> what if we just skip town tonight? You and me, baby. Well, thanks for the offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But... In one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trapped soul and you don't even know it. Why do some clients qualify for better travel packages? They led good lives. Que tries. How do you define a good life? Better than yours and mine. So what did you do in life to get stuck here? What I did back in the fat days is none of your business. You know the rules. Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss, same as you, Don Copel. Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. What? Well, what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? <laughs> Don't know what got her up and... Got, no, no, I got her scared, but okay, whatever. Busy as ever, I see. I'd have more work to do if you had more clients. Ouch. Just one more question about my job. Manny, you know what to do. Stop playing dumb just to flirt with me. So, you going to the Christmas party? After the spectacle you made of yourself last year? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Any good gossip? Well, I heard Domino got a raise. Por favor, tell me some good news, why don't you? I still love you. You're all I really need, Bellissa. Where is everybody? Oh, Manny, did you forget what day it is today? Oh, man, did I come in on Saturday again? It's the Day of the Dead. Everybody's back in the land of the living, visiting their families like we should be. Why aren't you visiting your family today? Ah, the boss is here, so I gotta be here. How about you, Cal? No one back there I wanna see. And you don't want Domino here alone, getting all the good leads. Domino's here? He's at the poisoning right now, stealing your commission. Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I do watch you. Ah, the big golden door to mediocre management. A little respect for our fearless leader, please? Why? I've worked here longer than he has, you know. And you're proud of that? Hmm, good point. It's my boss's secretary, Ava. It's my boss's whipping boy, Manny. Actually, I was trying to take out the pipe, but whatever. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Hold on. Rocco! Rocco, no! No, Rocco! Stop it! Stop! Stop! Good. Hold on, watch this. This thing right here. Whole bunch. It's my boss's secretary, Ava. It's my. It's my boss's secretary, Ava. It's my boss's whipping right. boy, Manny. It's a whole punch. Mind if I use your whole punch? Knock yourself out. Thanks. Gets the aggressions out, doesn't it? Yep. If there's some way to adjust turning speed, I'd like to use it. Also, this looks handy. It's over here. There are lights for wash, rinse, wax, and land of the living, depending on your destination. Don't know how wash is a destination, but okay. Through there lies the Limbo Highway, and on the other side of that, the land of the living. Can't go through on foot. People have tried, but they never came back. Not picking that up. 
big garage, let me tell you. More of a hangar than anything. The driver demons operate this somehow, and the company won't tell a salesman how it works. Gotta keep us down somehow. The driver demons operate this somehow, and the company won't tell a salesman how it works. Gotta keep us down somehow. Can't pick it up, of course. What's over here? Oh, yeah, fast turn when you run, I think. That's handy. Here's what I need. Wheels. Ooh, I might get hurt if I try to get one down by myself. Ooh, I might get hurt if I try to get one down by myself. What's in here? There's something big going on in there. Who's afraid of a little rusty water? It's closed. Hey, service. Hey, who the? Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't expect sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha, no, 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 no. I don't ride them, just wrench them. I'm Calavera, Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey, I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Looks like I need a new driver. Oh, I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes? You do. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh no. Sorry. Can't. Rules. Gladys. Gladys. Is that a German name? Oh, no. My roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire to drive or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. Fair enough. Nice hut. Yeah, I wonder how nice it would seem to you if you were trapped in it all day like me. If you hate your job, why don't you quit? It's not just a job. It's what I was created to do. If I get any farther away from cars than this, I'll get sick and die. It's like I'm not happy unless I'm breathing in the thick, black, nauseating fumes. Hmm, can't imagine. Gee, I wonder how Manny died. Exactly, that doesn't really narrow it down given the numerous health problems with associated smoking, but like, you got the general, general idea. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm too big. You're not too big. You're just right. No, they told me again and again, I'm too big to drive. You're not too big. You just have a self-image problem. A what? Repeat after me. I am not fat. I am thin. Women find me attractive. Hey, I never said I was too fat for the ladies. Just the cars. The ladies like me just fine. <laughs> Screw the rules. Come with me. No, I don't want to get in trouble again. They said one more strike, and I'm out. Well, do you know anyone who can drive? Everybody's gone. It's the day of the dead, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'll 
But I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, hey, hey. that's my line. Getting people to sign back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. Real charmer, Gladys, let me tell you. Alright, let's get this signed then. Quickest episode one I ever did, I think. Well, not quickest, like. I don't know. Let's just go. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. It's some sort of special work order. This deck of cards is a little frayed around the edges. Then again, so am I. And I've got fewer suits. <laughs> I've got to get this work order signed. It's a hole punch. It's a hole punch. I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say no interruptions today? Eh, sorry, Cal. Maybe tomorrow. That's too late. Oh, yeah, like you're going anywhere. Well, I'm trying to go somewhere, dang it. Uh, we'll be back next time.